whistle. Um, what else? And the combat is fairly difficult. All right, I was gonna say what all the items were that you get. You start out with a wooden bat. Um, and then you get a slingshot. And then you get bombs. It's like, yep, that's a Zelda game. Uh, and then the next item you get is... Is it the... Sp you get a spear, which is not a Zelda item. And I really like the spear. Because it's like your... Do it's your double jump. In, in that you can throw the spear. And it is a weapon. So you throw the spear, it will damage enemies. But, um... It sticks. It sticks into walls when you throw it, and uh, it's also you use it for platforming. And the way that they don't allow that to just break the game in half is that it um, will not stick into metal, so it'll stick into dirt walls or wood, but like crystals or metal, it won't stick. And you get a lantern. Right, I think you get the lantern before the spear. Uh, but here's the thing, is that all, all of these are not handed to you. I think you're only forced to get the bombs. Uh, maybe the spear as well, at some point. But like, you never have to pick up the lantern. You never have to pick up a bad upgrade to do anything. It'll suck for you if you don't. You never have to pick up an armor upgrade. And so on. Um... Oh, and the crossbow. I forgot about the crossbow. Oh, I think that's 100% optional, actually. Um, so the slingshot is like... Your shots travel in an arc, and actually... Um, when, you, when, you, when you go to use it, there's an auto-moving reticle that you have to then press fire again to shoot. But with the crossbow, you can manually aim, and the, the shots don't arc. Uh, Crossbow's 100% and it's upgrade 100% optional. Lantern is 100% optional. And there's a um, kind of spoilery upgrade that you get late game. But uh, it's a big movement option that you need to like beat the game. It's interesting how, how much they make you use it. It's actually really cool. Um, just something I really appreciated. Just because not very many games do that sort of thing. I'm being vague because I don't want to say I, I am recommending this. So if you want a Zelda on a 2D Zelda, uh, but side-scrolling 2D Zelda, hence the comparisons to Zelda 2. But it's it's more than just surface-level comparisons to Zelda 2. Because while there isn't any magic, like Zelda 2 has, uh, if you saw the overworld, you would understand what I mean when I make the Zelda 2 comparisons. And anyone that knows what the overworld of Zelda 2 looks like, can immediately 
probably guess what I'm thinking of. What is this, another banana? Yep, that's another banana. So yeah, that was neat. Um, then I played through Infinite Fusion again because I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Um, if anybody wants to see the uh, team I used to be at the most recent time, check out the Final Fantasy IX stream tomorrow. Where That's generally where I uh, show those off to my co-commentator. Where they guess what the Pokemon I was using are based off of just the Fusion spread. Well, like the composition of the fusion. This. That's all they get, it's just the spring. It's been an ongoing thing. And then I was looking for another game to play. And uh, I noticed that uh, Picross S9 got announced. And I was like, oh boy, Picross S9. Can't wait to play that. Wait a second. <laughs> and here we are. I apparently completely missed that this got announced. Or released.
What is this? I barely see it. All right, all right, game. So, I picked this up, obviously, as I'm playing it right now. I don't know how I could have not picked it up and also be playing it, but I'm sure I could find a way. Uh, but I am also looking for something else to play because I cannot play this 24-7. And uh, sometimes I will not be streaming. I know. Shocking. But that's how it be. So, I'm on the I'm on I'm on the lookout for another game. In about this 19th in six days. Um, uh, wave three of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 DLC comes out, which I, uh, will be playing, as I did play and enjoy Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And I bought the DLC, because, in general, Nintendo makes pretty good value in their DLCs. Never wave one, though. Wave one always sucks unless it's Mario Kart. At least from the DLCs I've purchased. <laughs> Breath of the Wild Wave 1 DLC? Sucked. Xenoblade Chronicles 3's Wave 1? Sucked. Did I even buy the DLC for Chronicles 2? I don't think I did. Um... I didn't buy the DLC for Sword and Shield either, mostly because why would I do that? Why would anyone do that? But, um... From what I hear, the, uh... Isle of Armor sucked. And the Crown Tundra was good. DLCs exist. There's plenty. Hmm. Plenty, but I seem to be blanking. Was well, so the Splatoon stuff just free updates, not DLC, right? Hmm. 
now I don't know. <laughs> what I also don't know is where the obvious thing is that I'm missing again. Oh, there it is. How much does that help, though? Not a whole lot. Huh. Is a 10 by 10 really gonna stump me? Ten by ten? Oh, hello. <laughs> See? The obvious thing that I was missing. I found it. easy. Calm down there. Calm down there, cursor. Okay.
need one? Nope. Decide. Wait, yes? It is. What do you know? But just not the red, the red kind. There's a different kind. I didn't know about. That's another thing this game does. In addition to being a puzzle game. Legit, like, you learn stuff. <laughs> Just learn about random stuff they decide to throw in as a puzzle. Like, it'll happen again. happen to you It'll happen right now. You'll never see it coming. A standing display board. Okay. Yeah, sure. One shot. Ah, uh, more 10 by 10. This, the real stuff begins at 15 by 15. But I think it's stuck by that one puzzle due to inattentiveness. So there's that.
All right. It's... All right. a sword. No, it's a it's a knife. I'm betrayed. <laughs> <laughs> 